Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so we're doing a collective, checking in on all zodiac signs. I will put the timestamps in the comments section below. Um, this is a general reading, just like always, so um, no need to get bent out of shape. Take what resonates or what feels right. Um, but this one I'm gonna be doing, I'm pulling some animal oracles, see what energy you're gonna be taking on and uh, what energy around you. So this could be upcoming, but again, we'll see. You might not resonate with it until two weeks later. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. I would also like to thank everybody that participated in the Blessing Box giveaway and how supportive uh, supportive and positive the comments section was um, that made me really happy um, that you guys showed each other so much love and support. I will be doing more giveaways. I want to give back to you. I, I just, I, um, I appreciate you guys. Okay. So anyway, now before we get into it, <clears throat> When the collective, when I was focusing on all zodiac signs, so that the big a big pool here, uh, I was getting waiting, waiting on something that feels a little bit exciting. Also, it seems like it's a distance. This whatever this is has to, it's it's coming from afar or it's currently afar. But you see, the collective seems to be waiting for this. Now this is this is a holiday season, so this is a lot of time for things to be, you know, coming, shipping, flying, traveling. But uh, yeah, so I but I'm picking up that energy, like this kind of excited buzz in the air. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I like it. I like that so far. <clears throat> oh, also, I was getting soulmate alert. Soulmate alert. Soulmates are, there's different types of soulmates, romantic, friendship, uh, karmic. There's so, there's so much. Okay. Um, but I am getting that in general, most of you will be encountering a soulmate, whether or not you uh, are with this person or not, they will be around you. Feels like a positive interaction and in however casual it is. I am also hearing, um, especially for fire and water placements, sex with a soulmate, sex with soulmate, um, that applies to the collective, but I, I don't know why I just feel the need to say specifically fire and water placements. This can be sun and moon. Uh, so some of you will be having sexy time, I guess, if that's what you, because, you know, it's funny because... Uh, I was hearing and I, I kind of was laughing. I don't know why we're going this direction, but it's, it's sort of like a naughty minded here. Okay. So, um, but I was hearing it is the season of giving and some of you may be giving it up. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. So there you go. That will apply to some of you. <laughs> Little humor in the spirits this, this, uh, morning, I guess. Uh, now I have to make notes. Otherwise I, I can't focus. I'm like a ping pong. I always say this when I do collectives, it's, it's like a ping pong ball. Okay. Now I was getting more implemented control and I, and I get that, uh, I'm getting like global. So I'm feeling something could be coming to a head here. I'm, I'm getting more control. Mm. I just heard lockdown. I hope that's not, I don't know, but I am, I'm seeing that for some reason governments, uh, and I, and, and because I'm seeing a globe, I'm feeling like this could be several places in the world. Uh, I'm getting like government doing something here. So places that are already have control, increased control, some places that aren't as controlled will, I think it's going to, but it's going to vary in level, but I am getting, uh, no, Charles, uh, uh, I am getting more implemented, uh, control. Uh, 
Uh, okay, and then also I was hearing that the there half of the half of the world may experience like an internet darkness or some sort of darkness. I'm getting darkness, and I and I was thinking internet, so. I don't know, but I don't feel as if this is coming up this week per se. I want to say this would be the, in the next half of year. I know that we're doing collectives for now, but I am getting something about that, like an internet shortage. It could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be very long. I'm not getting much on time frame. I am just feeling that like there could be some sort of glitch. If it's, if it's not, because what I'm hearing is, uh, half the world will be like in darkness and I was kind of getting like maybe electricity or uh, internet, something like that for a certain amount of time, which, okay, I know that that's not, but I have, I, this is what I'm hearing. That's not like right this second though. So, you know, I, I'm not, time frames are a little bit, Eh, they're so human. I have an issue with them. I always say this. Um, and then also, uh, um, lastly, before we pull cards and get into it, besides my sensi here, I'm hearing snow, snow, snow. We are in winter in certain parts of the world and in, in, in the part that I am in, but I am feeling like more snow. So uh, more snow this year than the previous years in places that snows, places that doesn't snow very much will see more snow. I'm just getting a ton of snow. I mean, and some places get a lot. Well, you're going to get more. So cheers. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Let's start with the Leo. Had a lot of stuff to say there. We'll see what's coming up. Give, give the collective time. I find my collective generals aren't quite as immediate when they're global stuff like that. It's personal. Like sex with a soulmate is going to be before this, uh, uh, before this internet issue or whatever the hell that is. Okay. All right. So anyway, universe, connect me with the energy for my Leos. Leo, Leo. What spirit animal is for the Leos? Give me a spirit animal for the Leos, please. Spirit animal for the Leos. What is... Okay, and then um, give me a spirit animal for who Leo is dealing with. Who's going to be in Leo's energy? This can be romantic or not. Not all of you are in love all day long. So it's just whoever's going to be relevant. Uh, who is this energy for Leo? Ooh. Saucy person you've got. <clears throat> they're also kind of sneaky. Actually, no, they're very sneaky. Okay. Um, and if there's, uh, there's definitely things that you don't know. Okay, anyway. But I don't, I just feel like this is how this person is. I don't want everybody to know. Did I, did I get this energy for some? Okay, so spirit animal for Leo. Gaia. Mm. This is a nice energy, but it's very worldly. It's kind of generalized. You could be taking on like many different positions or many different types of, like this is a card to me that's like always changing. I'm focusing on the eyes as well. Some of you could be really seeing something and being surprised. I'm feeling like this could have to do with like, um, perhaps like a feminine energy. This person, whoever they are, whether they're, you know, man or woman, they, they seem like they have like a feminine energy. They're going to be doing something and you're like watching them you're seeing something here that's really going to be taking you. I, I don't think you've ever seen this before, or it's just taking you off guard. You're a time. You're in a time of learning. This energy is very nice. Um, you're going to be receiving uh, abundance back in different forms. Some of you could be getting like gifts of food. 
Um, I'm just feeling like abundance being returned to you. But you are very much experiencing something that's like opening your eyes. You're seeing something differently than you've ever seen it before. You're seeing the world differently. You're, you're just taking on this really like big energy, Leo. It's nice. But I do think that you could, there could be some trauma here in things that you've seen. Because I'm just really getting a focus on the eyes. Some of you could be tired as well, headaches, things like that. But like your eyes, what you're seeing, um, your literal eye, it's just... Okay. Now, so yeah, good energy for you overall, but I don't know. You're going to be witnessing something. Some of you may have already, but it's just like, wow. And especially for those of you that have like a feminine energy that's relevant to you in your life in the upcoming uh, weeks, this person is going to surprise you wow you there something something is gonna go on here uh i kind of like it though you know it's it's got this it's got a i don't know okay so you're dealing with the python though this this is gonna be what's sort of in your immediate energy i don't feel as if this per you and this person have the most solid relationship for whatever reason um Because they seem to be sort of slithering around you. They're very watchful of you, protective. It's interesting because I'm not getting that you and this person dislike each other. But there's this very protective energy of this individual, who are, this python. There's something significant about their mouth, their words. what they say, they can be a little bit mean. I just, it's interesting because I think this person is like, they're just very intense. So, but they'll tell you. It's interesting because I'm getting like um, an element of secrecy with them, but I am also getting like that they will, what they say, they can sting. Sorry, my light, I need to be, pay attention. My, my, my silly little light, okay. So yeah, there um, there's something specific about what they're saying to you. Okay, so let me see. This person may have some earth in their chart have to but um okay what is this what is this individual what does this person want to say to leo what does this person want to say hmm like understanding uh, with the king of swords he's very clear see what i mean this person um they speak very clearly uh and they also speak with a purpose there's something there's a cycle that you two are either closing out together or have closed out here this individual i think they want balance though Temperance, Ten of Cups. So uh, some of you, this could be like a f family member or a family environment or somebody that you, Ten of Cups, somebody that you see a lot with. There's a lot of emotions there. There's Ten Cups. So uh, this individual, um, I'm feeling like something ending for this person is actually like they want to talk to you about something that ended like a cycle something that's like no longer they want clarity they want clearness here 
you know, temperance and 10 of cups, but it's like the message is good. I feel like there's going to be, um, things will be mellow between you. This person feels mellow, the interaction, that's what they want. They want, I, I, I'm just like basically repeating myself, so I'm just gonna let it go, but you get the point. Temperance, 10 of cups, they want things to be cool. They want happiness. Some of you, this person is a family member or they want a family with you, or they just see that. They just see and want this. <clears throat> Okay, it's a little, little circle-y there. You, you could go in circles with this person when you talk to them sometimes or, the, or this person. Something, there's something about that because I was very kind of circle-y trying to talk about it. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Virgo. Thing is, is I kind of have a hard time handling these cards. They're pretty big. So I love them, but I don't know. I'm all over the place. <laughs> okay. Universe, give me a spirit animal, please, for my Virgos. Spirit animal for my Virgos. Okay, well, you're an element. So they're giving me an element. So let me pull another card. But I, there is something to be said here. But uh, give me a spirit animal, please, for Virgo. Virgo. Two. Okay. So um, it's interesting because it gave me all in one. And I feel the need to keep it. So it gave me who you are and then the people around you. So the first thing that came out though was the fire. Something's gonna spark a passion for you. Ooh, I don't know. You could be feeling like, I don't know. Something's gonna get your attention. Just woo sparks you here. Some of it could it could be sexual energy, just very motivated. Something that happens. See the fire that's starting in the corner. This is gonna spread. You're gonna feel really um, lit up by something. And the energy feels. I mean, for those, it'll be different for everybody. But it kind of feels good to me. I'm not really getting something bad. But I do also feel like this sparking of a passion in you. Whatever sparks this. Um, it's going to cause something else to kind of crumble. Something else in relation. Something like this. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is a good thing. However, it's almost like you may like leave something behind or something, something else is going to kind of fall apart. This will initiate it. Um, but you are the, I, <laughs> I always say this a little funny, the Dagong. Hmm. There's a focal point on your thoughts. See, the head is illuminated here. Again, something is going to ignite you. You're going to be like, mm -hmm. an interest, a passion. A lot of you will be increased sexual. There, there will be increased sexual desire, increased drive. You'll be, you know, just the energy feels strong for you. Um, I also do feel that people around you are finding you a little bit mysterious. They kind of don't really understand what's what you're thinking, what it is that um, is going on in the emotional realm for you. This is a water energy. You are earth, but that's what they they just there's a lot of mystery. The Dugong is very, um, kind of elusive. You may be asking someone to trust you, or there's something specific about trust. Somebody's going to be asking you to trust them. Um, 
because I am getting like things not being completely clear in regards to when people are dealing with you for some reason. And you might not be completely clear of how you feel about certain things either. But, um, but yeah, there's some focus on your thoughts. A lot of you, a lot of ideas coming this week as well. Um, okay, so you're dealing with two people. <laughs> and it's funny because I feel like this person, the red squirrel here, I think they're like snooping, they're listening, they're spying. I don't know. This person's like, might be listening to you talk to someone else. Um, snoopy energy. I don't really get like that they're a bad person. They're just kind of snoopy. But they're going to like, they, they, they pretend like they're doing something else, but they're listening. They may listen to your conversations or I don't know. I'm just getting someone around you. They're not your main focus. This person is the masked owl. <clears throat> so this individual may travel or I'm getting like um, travel here them going somewhere or some significance about travel. Let's say messenger. Uh, yes, but they will be, this is, um, there's something coming in from this person, a message, uh, it could be a gift, but uh, yeah, they're bringing this individual with the owl. It's like they're, they're flying in with something literally or metaphorically speaking. This person is also, they're very intuitive and I'm feeling like quiet from them in this moment. There is something very significant about their eyes. I feel as if like the main thing, like when you look at them, they're gonna be, there's, their eyes are very deep. This person's an old soul. And when you look into their eyes, there's gonna be a moment here. There's a lot of depth going, the masked owl and the dugong, while they're in different water and air, they're almost in different elements. You guys could be in different places often, um, but there's like a lot of depth in both of these, both of these creatures. So there's, there's so much going on between you guys that I feel as if isn't said because I'm getting silence from both of you. And then this is just like the Snoopy whoever. And this could be the nosy friend, a mother of a, anybody. Just, but I get that they snoop. They're Snoopy and related to you because this is your energy reading. Okay, so what does this masked owl want to say to Virgo? They may take a long time to get to their point. Well, it's interesting. This person is very independent. They seem to be strong. I'm getting strength from them, but they're also kind of melancholy. They might say something to you about, like they might recall, bring something to your attention here with the star, a memory, something significant to them where they felt sad a moment they felt sad in relation to you, possibly, or um, just something very significant that they had to heal from if it's not in relation to you. But I'm getting a very, um, they might say something about being alone or lonely. You might also, I, I'm feeling like um, money could be good for you, but you might be feeling a little bit you know, because I think Virgos tend to actually do pretty well independently and by themselves. But you might kind of be taking on this energy of feeling a little bit lonely in the next week or so. You might be wanting to, wanting something. Feeling you wanting something, Virgo. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and switch over. How am I doing? I don't know if I'm really going to. Libra. Dealing with has there's something 
they've got like a full head of hair. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Or, you know, or you notice their hair. There's nothing very significant about their hair. All right, universe, connect me with the energy for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me a spirit animal, please, for the Libra. And a spirit animal for who Libra is dealing with. Or who's going to be okay. Whoever you're dealing with likes to wear dark colors, black. Um, they may kind of have a, sort of an off set view of religion, life, maybe politics. I don't know. I'm just getting like. Something a little bit unique here or like they have different beliefs about like death and life, spirit, stuff like that. Like I'm just picking that up first off. They may take a more like ancient, cultural, whatever culture that is, belief. Um, for some reason, I'm picking up on them first. You're dealing with the crow. I'll come back to that, but I just felt the need to say that. But they do wear predominantly dark colors. Um, the first time you see them, they, they'll be wearing like something dark. They might have dark hair, but I'm just getting more an emphasis on, on dark colors. Okay, so uh, Libra, you are the orange blossom jellyfish. You vibrant soul. <laughs> you might be kind of going with the flow a little bit more. I do feel as if, you know, you got, you got a buddy here. Somebody tandem. Uh, could be like a mini me of some kind, pet, child, um, or maybe a friend. I don't know, a coworker. I'm just feeling like there is some significance about a casual, comfortable energy around you. You could be working in partners or groups. Um, but yeah, you seem to be going with the flow. The orange and the yellow, just really kind of nice. You know, humor up, spirits up. You're glowing here. It's interesting because I also feel as if there is something that you've recently kind of like let go, let to the wind, let it be what it is. Uh, this kind of carefree sort of just because, you know, um, the jellyfish is in the water. You can't control the ocean. And I think you may have recently learned this. I, I feel as if you have set yourself free or you will be. You're going to be feeling better, lighter floating about. Some of you could be a little bit dizzy or off balance. Be careful uh, for those of you that travel a lot of vertigo. I don't know why I was getting that, but I am getting like dizziness off balance. Not a doctor, but there we go. Okay. So anyway, and um, I'm feeling whoever this person is, there's going to be an increase of communication. Now, that being said, I don't feel as if there may have been no communication or very little I still don't get them being a big talker, but I do feel that they will be saying something. They seem very point driven. The, the crow is kind of like communicates as a messenger and very symbolic. Um, there is karma attached here. I feel as if someone between uh, has learned a lesson. This person may have been a lesson for you, or you have may have been a lesson for this person. But I am feeling like uh, a lesson was learned here, or will be. Okay, let's see. What does this crow want to say to my leaves? could be difficult. What does this crow want to say to Libra? Um, wow. Something has changed here. Wow. This energy is fabulous. Something has changed. The energy has changed. You're going to feel, be feeling happy, Libra, in yourself. Whatever this person has to say is going to be happy. I mean, Ace of Swords in the Sun. They're going to tell you something that uh, I think it, that has to do with you or that you did or that you said. Something here may, is going to make them very happy and they're going to let you know that. 
or they're going to express like what they view happiness as. I'm just getting like a lot of clarity, a positive outcome. Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Holy, 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 holy. This is wonderful. This person, I don't know why I feel the need to say that. Um, this individual, there could be something about religion um, that's a thing for this person. They may be... I don't know. Something about religion has had a big effect on their life. And their beliefs have changed. Something changed their beliefs. All right. Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. An opportunity for growth here. This person wants an opportunity for growth. They see a lot of potential in an idea they 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 also i feel like this person wants this with you they may also have an idea or want to discuss some i'm getting discussion over something that could possibly make a lot of money there's money involved so this person has like a passion that they want to express they may be passionate about you but there's also an idea here formulating Something that they're, there's getting just money, money. They're going to be talking to you about money, growth, um, what they desire. This person is very passionate and I feel as if they're very passionate about you. They're going to let you know that in some sort of way. However, that you know, it could be romantic. It could be something that you bring to the table, um, something you're doing. I don't know, but... There is so much passion here and you will come to understand. It's almost like if you didn't understand, you will. You will. Sun, Ace of Swords. There, there could, it couldn't be more clear. Couldn't be more clear. I do feel as also um, incoming communication about an opportunity. And again, there's money. I, I, money talks. In general, most of the interactions that you have, Libra, are going to be like money related. It feels like I do. You know, I am trying to pick up on this message from this person, but I do feel as if there's like a new idea. There's a new opportunity. There's a new something. There's a new opportunity to make money. Go for the money, honey. OK, so that's what I'm getting. I'm a little bouncy. This person does want to say something that you're going to like. But anyway. Okay, that won't be your main focus, though. You are more, uh... Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to Scorpio. Scorpio. Universe, connect me with the energy of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> you could be having, like... Your hair could be kind of, like, flipping out or doing something kind of different. I, I'm repeating myself, but anyway, you get what I'm saying. Just get something about like hair. Kind of like a bad hair day. Calic. Some of you may have like a calic. I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm getting like your hair just being a little bit wild, but it sort of matches your energy. You feel spunky so far. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Spirit animal, please, for Scorpio. And who Scorpio is dealing with. Whoop, two cards. Okay, <laughs> Scorpio, you have a couple people in your energy here. Um, there could be uh, somebody with water or air in their chart that is a little bit reclusive. They be, could be filled, this is the bottom of the deck. They could be feeling like a little bit butthurt or like you're not responding to this person. You may not message them back or I'm getting like a lack of response. There's somebody here at the bottom of the deck that... Um, I'm feeling like pouting or like disappointment. Okay, anyway, so you, Scorpion, could be kind of keeping solo to yourself, being very private, despite that you have two, you have several energies kind of coming out around you, uh, the Timberwolf. Hmm. You could be retreating. I'm, I'm feeling you, actually not could be, I'm feeling you retreating. The winter, you're going to be reclusing in. You could be retreating from certain people. I feel as if there might be a betrayal in your pack. Timberwolf, you're a wolf now, Scorpio. 
in this reading. So there's a betrayal in your pack, either to someone else around you or um, you, you just don't, I'm getting you don't trust someone in the pack. You're going to be retreating. Strong instincts, a lot of intuitive instinct going on. You do also feel very dominant. You could be getting things in order. You're very down to business. There's also going to be a significance about guidelines or guidance guidelines. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so... You have two energies here coming out. You have the orange blossom jellyfish. So some of it, that was just Libra. So some of you could have a Libra floating around. If not, though, this is just the energy of this person. I do feel as if they sort of lack direction um, when they're around you or interacting with you. But you may find that they remember, they might bring up something, a memory or they're a little bit more sensitive in, than, you, than you might realize, whoever this person is. You know, again, it, it, this came out for Libra, but it doesn't have to be a Libra. But somebody's like a little bit more sensitive than you thought. And then here you are. You have the wild horse. This person, um, this individual is somebody that is not, has never been tamed down. They're very free-spirited the things they engage in, the type of work, they like to be free. Uh, I'd be very surprised if this individual's ever been married. They like to travel. Um, <clears throat> some of them may have like um, an Indian, Mayan, just there's some sort of cultural heritage. This person has like a I'm trying to think of the word. Yeah, they just feel like uh, ancient culture. Ancient culture the, to this individual. Very free-spirited. Okay, so yes. It's interesting because I think that there's like distance between you and both of these energies. But they will be significant to you. I, I'm feeling a lot more focus on the wild horse than the jellyfish. I think the wild horse has a little bit more of a point or direction. I'm just feeling them being like by you, standing beside you a little bit more so than the than this jellyfish. Okay, so um Well, give me some cards. What do, what do these energies want to say to Scorpio, please? Whoops. <laughs> what does this wild horse want to say to Scorpio? Ooh, okay, so this wild horse, the devil, prince of wands. Okay, so this person, uh, they're very attached to your energy, um, but I feel as if they come and go. Very free-spirited, king of pentacles. But I'm, I'm getting that there could be this person, whoever they are to you, their relevance is going to be more consistent. It's going to grow to be more consistent. I feel they're very attached to your energy. What do they want to say? The devil and the prince of wands. A lot of you, this person is very, very attracted to you. They wouldn't let you go even if you wanted them to type of energy. Um, they could be expressing more dominance. I'm feeling them by you, whoever they are. Protective. Could be a lot of money potential here, but this, whoever this person is, and that won't be for everybody, but I'm getting like solid, something very solid. But, you know, this is a lot of sexual, this person definitely has sexual motivation with you, with the devil and the prince of wands. If you've been sexual with them, or if you do, they're gonna love it. 
They're going to just, I mean, it's almost like possessive. They may not say this, but this feels like, I don't know where you think you're going, but you're not going anywhere, Scorpio. So whoever they are, I mean, this could be a best friend, a boss, a lover. This, I feel more sexual, so, you know. But sometimes the devil can be creative energy. It can be work. But whatever this is, is excessive. This person does something. Um, they may have like a getting like a chronic pain or, or something excessive. <laughs> With, I'm just excess. Holy boy. Wild horse. Okay. Um, whoever this energy is, masculine or feminine. What does this orange blossom jellyfish want to say? They want... Um, they want something to, they may want, they want to communicate. They want something to be understood. Could be like things being cool again type. I can't think of the word, not clarity, but it's like they want to speak to you. They want to communicate. Princess of Wands, Nine of Wands. But, you know, they may have upset you or there could have been like a heated conversation before they, they know that you sting. Nine of Wands, Princess of Wands. Um, they have interest, though. There's, there's, I feel as if this person wants to communicate something to you. And they're going to. They're just a little bit guarded. You're guarded, too. So that's interesting. But I'm getting like they want to clear the air. Or say something. Present an idea. I, I'm not. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch over to Sagittarius. Okay. Connect me with the energy for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me a spirit animal for my Sagittarius. And a spirit animal for the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Spirit animal for the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay, so. Koala. I feel as if you're going to be kind of doing your thing. I am getting an emphasis for some reason on chewing. Some of you could be trying to eat more vegetables or change your diet in a healthier manner in the next few weeks um, or continue that. I'm just getting an emphasis on vegetables, salad, something like that, chewing. But it, it feels like a, like a lot of fiber. You may need to increase your fiber. You will be. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but that's what I'm picking up on. Now, I do feel um, kind of this stating your opinion. You're going to be stating your opinion, but being calm about it. You know, you're very candid here. You might be invited to watch something as well. This, or, um, yeah, I'm seeing you viewing it. So, so some sort of gathering, entertainment, what, I'm seeing you watching something. All right, so you could be going to watch someone speak here or give a speech or there's something significant about like news, something being delivered with the air card because I am getting words, speaking, speech, dialogue, like this is all significant. Countering a speaker probably. Okay, so you're dealing with the condor. This person, um, I'm getting something relevant about their skin. And I don't know what I mean by that, but the skin on their face. I don't know. They may speak to you about this. Or I don't know. There's just some relevance for some reason about the skin on their face. Or their face, something they've done, their makeup. This person wears a lot of makeup. I'm not sure if you agree, though, on the way they do their makeup. I'm not, again, I, 
I don't know why they're telling me you could be getting a lot of information that's not really that important. Discussions about like creative things, makeup, um, designing, putting things together. It feels kind of like creative energy, but I do feel as if you're going to be doing dealing with somebody and they're going to show up and they're <laughs> you're going to be looking at their face, their makeup. Something is isn't right, you know. They're they're. <laughs> Some of you that have children, this won't apply to everybody, but you could do, deal with a child and they're, they like drew makeup all over their face. You cut, you, you encounter them and they've like drawn lipstick all over. Cause I'm just getting an emphasis on this person and it's like they don't know how to do their makeup and I don't know why that matters to you. <laughs> but that's who they are. Well, what do they want to say then? Let's, <laughs> that's how you'll recognize them. You're going to be like, wow. Are you wearing enough rouge or what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Okay. What does this uh, condor want to say to Sagittarius? This is funny energy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be laughing, but what does this condor want to say to Sagittarius? Okay. I, I feel. Okay, something has happened, something has taken them by surprise, the situation, the tower. This is a wow. So they're going to say something that's wow. It could be between you or something they're dealing with. But I feel as if there's going to be a lot of communication. They're going to send a lot of messages about this, whatever, whatever happened. And they kind of don't, with the two of swords, they don't really know what to do. They don't really know what avenue to go. So again, this could be related to you or they might be seeking advice. I'm just feeling like they're going to be telling you all about it, whatever happened. This, this tower moment telling you and, and they're going to say, I, I don't know, two of swords. They may have like an option or they might be trying to make it. They're definitely trying to make a decision. They don't know. So that's what they're coming in to say. And if this is related to you, that's what they're going to express. They're, they want to talk about what happened between you guys that clearly with the tower didn't go well. But for others of you, they could just be telling you about this, something that happened to them. It seems like they, they're they very focused on their story, though. I'm not getting, I'm getting like a lot of listening coming from you on your end. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over to Capricorn. Someone uh, came to the door and just upset the group. So here we go. All right. So back to that. All right. Connect me with the energy, please, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me a spirit animal for my Capricorns, please. Spirit animal for my Capricorns. Spirit animal for who Capricorn is dealing with, who's relevant to Capricorn. I'm gonna, oop, okay. Okay, well, you have a lot of people around you. All feels kind of fairly impersonal. There could be, you know, this could be work or like just a social environment. I'm getting like a lot of social. You're around, Capricorn is around a lot of people right now. Uh, or you will be. Blue whale, this is you. I'm getting like renewal, something coming out, but um, kind of feels good here. You could be feeling better. Some of you could have been like a little bit under the weather about something, but you know, with him coming out and the, the colors in the background, I'm really getting this energy of like things working out, like it's gonna be okay. There There is a moment, uh, renewed hope in something for you Capricorn. A better energy than what I was picking up on before. You feel pretty good. Um, 
You could also be doing something new, a little bit out of your element. Whatever it is though, it feels like there's a lot of people around. Um, busy, busy, busy. You're in a busy environment. So here's the first card that came out. You have the lion. This person feels fairly stuck to you, fixated on you in some sort of way. It's, I would say that they're they're loyal to you. They're the closest one. They may they may sort of be protective because I am getting a little bit of um, an argumentative or a little bit of a feisty vibe here from this lion. And they also like to be in charge. So, you know, between the both of you, this individual is a little bit more bossy. You're kind of like, whatever, you know, your, your energy's feeling pretty good. They're, they're, this is most likely a fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. But I'm not really picking up Taurus. I would say this seems more like Leo Scorpio type of energy. Okay, and then you have the white pelican. You could be in a place where there's music or dancing. This individual, there's something about like the way they walk or their feet. They could be dancing. I, I'm getting that you might find them to be a little bit silly. You know, I don't know how well you know this person, but I see you're observing them and they either like, <laughs> I don't know, they're being a little silly here, but I think that they're very focused on it, whoever this individual is. They could be stumbling a little bit as well. Could be, you know, something influencing this person. Again, I'm getting like busy, could be music, dancing, I don't know. All right, and then, then we have the troublemaker, the python. It's not always the energy of the troublemaker, but this is the energy that they're taking on for you, Capricorn. This individual may say something. I feel like they're the kind of person that gives like jabs. So, um, they also are the most loner to me. They're very detached. They're gonna come across that way to you. I don't know, but I'm not necessarily getting anything bad. But if there's any drama that pops off, it's going to be initiated by this python. I don't know why. I just feel the need to say that. But you've got like, um, I feel as if the lion here will stop this python. I don't even think the python, but it's interesting though, because I'm just getting like, python's not getting by the lion. You don't seem like you really care that you're really worrying about much in this situation. But there is a lot going on around you. So, um, so two people may get in an argument, this pelican and the python. There, there could be an argument between those two. Again, outside of you, but you're, you're going to observe this. All right. Well, um, since there's so many energies here, I'm just going to ask, what does anyone want to say? Is Capricorn coming in? I'm not going to go one by one. We're going to take too long. All right, so the one that views you as the soulmate. I'm getting somebody actually that's with the Hermit card and the Two of Cups. It feels as if you're not around this person. So the person that wants to say something to you isn't around you. They're by themselves, but they're thinking about you. They're thinking about you, but they're by themselves and they want to be by themselves. Because with the magician and the hermit, they made this happen. Like they, they want to be by themselves. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but they are thinking about you and they're thinking about how you're a soulmate. Or if they don't want to be by themselves, they are by themselves often. So they may also want to speak to you about like making something happen, something they're working on. Because the magician, it's like creating something. You could get some, for those of you that have like a building or anything to do with like creation, which I guess in, a, in some form we all, but this feels like actually creating something like physical things. Um, there could be like plans or uh, paperwork development conversation about how to implement something. Construction, building, I don't know. 
getting communication about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Stop, Charles. Don't play with your ears. Stop it. Everybody is just driving me up the wall. Mm -hmm. So much disturbing of the piece here. Connect me with the energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit animal for Aquarius. Spirit animal for Aquarius. And the person Aquarius is dealing with. Okay. All right. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be pissed off about something. I'm feeling like um, they're going to be sort of almost on the hunt. It's like they're on a mission. They're going to tell you for the shark and they're going to be upset. I don't think they're pissed off about you, at you though. I think they're mad about something else and they're really determined. This person is going to get something done. They're a force of nature and they're coming in hot. They're, but um, it's interesting though, because I am feeling a general, uh, I don't know. I just think when you encounter them, they're going to be like this. But anyway, you're the Lotus blue butterfly. Hmm. Something's developing for you. I'm getting an emphasis on a pretty color. You may, feels like a tangible thing. So there's something that you're gonna be, that you just love the color of. Receiving or, you know, it's just a beautiful, I don't know, I'm just getting a lot of beauty and aesthetics for you. A lot of vibrant colors. You're also going to be looking and uh, people are appealing. They're going to be very drawn to you, what you have to say. Because you do, you feel lightness. You feel you feel lightness. You feel light here. Your energy feels nice. So this individual may actually feel better after talking to you. I'm, I'm feeling like you enlightening them or maybe giving them information or hope or something because they're going to be very grumpy. This is, there's a lot of stress from this individual. It's like somebody who had like a bad day at work and then they're telling you about it, but it's like, you know, they feel better after interacting with you at that light. Ugh. There could be something that comes in about teeth as well. Teeth. Some of you may have to go to your dentist. Okay. What does this shark want to say to the Aquarius? <laughs> Such a feisty individual. <laughs> Such a passionate person. Okay. So the Queen of Wands, this is who's coming in. You think that they're attractive. You know, a lot of people think they're attractive. They get attention. Um... But I'm feeling like a very serious person. So they have a lot of emotional baggage. There's something that they want to talk about. Um, their feelings that really weigh them down. I do feel as if they, they um, there is some sort of discussion here about being independent or staying single. Some of you may prefer to kind of do your own thing, work independently, personally, business, things like that, because there's a lot on your plate. There's a lot going on, or that's this person. Because um, I am feeling like I prefer to be alone. I prefer to be single because I have a lot of responsibilities on my back. Despite how I feel, despite because I'm getting like an emphasis on like the Prince of Cups is smaller than the Nine of Pentacles. So the sense of duty here is stronger than the emotional desire. So somebody is, you, there's going to be communication about that. Either between you, you know, this is how this person feels or this is how you feel. And they're also Ace of Swords and Eight of Cups. There is going to be some discussion about leaving something behind, why it was left behind or why it's being thought about being left behind. I feel as if the walking away is going to happen here with this Eight of Cups or it already did. It's like inevitable. I just don't, you guys are all at different ages. So, but uh, there's going to be some clarity on why discussion on this. This is what this person wants to discuss. However, the energy applies. 
All right, so let's go over and switch over to Pisces. Universe connecting with the energy for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, siblings, like younger siblings or like younger children could be of significance to you, Pisces, for some reason. Whoever this is seems to be fond of you, or they will, you know. Sibling, children, I don't know. Your child, not your child. Okay. Doesn't matter. Just getting something smaller than you being fond of you. Okay. Give me a spirit animal, please, for the Pisces. Ooh. Very decisive. Very. I think you're working on something, Pisces, here. Uh, give me a, a spirit animal for the person that Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Golden orb spider. I think you're really getting things done. You're working on something here. Whatever it is you're working on is turning out really well. The golden orb spider is, uh, the web is magnificent. So you have a talent or a skill. There's something that's like, only you can do it this way. Only it can be done by you, you know? And this is what you're doing. You're gonna be very fixated and busy on this. I feel as if, you know, uh, there will be some snags, though, in your web, things that you'll have to redo. But I'm getting, like, a lot of speed, a lot of efficiency. Feels like balance. I am getting, like, you designing something, organizing something. It's like you're creating a vision here. And I don't know what this is uh, because, for what you know, each Pisces has their hands in something else. But I feel like you're doing something fast with your hands and over and over and over again. And that's where your main focus is. That spider is by itself in the web doing it, doing its thing. You're doing your thing, Pisces. <laughs> and you have the wild horse. So what, who just, who got that? Who got that? Scorpio got that? Mm, I don't know. So you're also dealing with the wild horse. This person, um... It's almost like they may come around you, but you feel kind of busy. It's like they kind of come around you, check in some way, then they go. I don't know who they are. They don't, they're, it's interesting because they don't seem, I don't really know if there's quite necessarily always a purpose. It's almost like whoever this horse is, it's like you feel like home. Whether or not you act, you know, like you live in their home. I don't know. Because their energy just kind of returns. It's like they come and they check in. And they, But you seem busy. Like you're doing something. And then, then and you're still doing something when this person is around. And then they go and they come back. But it's almost like, metaphorically speaking, you, you're their stable. But they don't claim that but they behave that way. Like this wild horse is, is a wild horse. It's not a domesticated horse. It, it isn't controlled. It doesn't have a saddle. Um, but you're their stable. So it's like you are home to them even though they don't say it. It's interesting. You're gonna find this. Whoever this, this is somebody that cares about you. You know, it could be a younger person. Um, you know, friendship, family, somebody that just kind of comes and goes. It's like they feel comfort in your energy. It's kind of nice, but it seems like you're busier than them or something. You might be a little older, a little more mature, or have more to do. I don't know. But yeah, they kind of like check in. What you doing? You're a kindred soul to them, Pisces. You feel like home. I love that. Oh, okay. So what does this wild horse want to say to Pisces? I think that's what it is. I don't think they'll say that, though. Okay. Ace of Swords and Four of Wands. There is some significance about the home. They could be, you could be, there could be talks about the home or coming to your home. Um, I do also feel like there is something about a partnership here. They may want a partnership with you. They may want something um, a little bit more in depth than what they say. 
but there could be some like things that are expressed that sort of elude to this. Because I am feeling with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck that, uh, that, that, they, that they might not say fully what they mean, but there could be like hints because they might not be even fully aware. Because with the what I just keep getting this freedom aspect of that this person really wants freedom. So that's why I say I don't know. But there also could be something that is discussed or comes out about a relationship. Um, or in, in a family or home environment that wasn't previously known. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Aries. Universe, connect me with the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the spirit animal for my Aries? No, okay. We can't have 20. Okay. So, it gave me, I like when it does this. It gave me who you're dealing with. Okay, so you are the salmon. Uh, first thing I'm hearing is trying something new. You're going to be trying something new. I do also feel like there could be, there is an emphasis on newness. You may struggle a little bit, but there's going to be, whatever you're engaging in, is out of your element in some sort of way, or it's brand new to you. I just keep wanting to say the word new. I keep pausing because I'm trying not to keep saying new, new, new. But yes, so um, you might be in moments, feel literally like you're swimming upstream. There is a little bit of resistance and difficulty that you're gonna encounter, but the salmon is determined and the salmon does get upstream because that's what it is. You know, um, you're going to need to have hope and believe. And I and I feel that you will, Aries. You know, your sign is very, your energy is coming up strong. Your sign is strong. But you're going to have to adjust to this change. I feel that you're just going to be doing something differently than you were before. And it's just, you know, it's new. You could be having somebody that's sort of like watching you, guiding you on this, giving you some uh, words of wisdom, advice. I feel as if this person is seasoned, they're older than you. It could be a family member or just somebody that's like kind of, they've swam upstream before. They don't swim upstream anymore in whatever this is, but they've done this. And so they're kind of just like, this is what's going to happen, you know, type of deal. Kind of like a mentor vibe, but not all of you have that. I'm just feeling like this person, they believe in you as well. They see something in you and they're going to be around or like part of this process uh, in some way. What does this lion want to say to Aries? Over time, I'm getting like consistency. They're gonna, there's something about consistency and over time there is growth or something like that. I don't know. What does this lion wanna say to Aries? Yeah, I feel as if the strength, the hero font, the, you know, you could be, there could be a Leo that's relevant because with this lion, it is kind of Leo energy. And then the strength is definitely Leo. Um, but regardless, um, I feel like what they want to say to you, it's because with the hangman and the two of wands, hang in there, hang in there, Aries. You're still trying to figure something out. You, you could, again, feel a little blocked or stuck in a certain way. You're still deciding how to navigate this, but with the two of wands, you're going to do it. You just have to decide. You know, uh, there's there's a lot of endurance and strength that's needed from you in whatever it is that's coming up, whatever you're doing. And again, this person, the Hierophant and the strength, they believe in you. They see it in you. They're watching you here. They're watching you uh, as you don't give up. Or they will be. 
you know, some of you, this could be a company that's doing business with you. I'm just feeling like whoever this person is, they're older than you. They're more developed in some way. Uh, they're going to provide some sort of words of wisdom or guidance. And, uh, but they're outside of it. Like this is a journey that you have to take all on your own and you will be kind of in this energy of feeling a little bit uncertain, but you're not meant to move forward until you have that clarity. Okay. So anyway, it feels very deep, but uh, good. I like the energy of that. For those of you that are in a relationship, uh, your partner, this won't apply to everybody, because, but or some kind of relationship, personal or business, your partner really kind of believes in you and wants to stick by you. Okay, so that's, you know, they will, they're going to show, they're going to show you a lot of support and a lot of loyalty, whoever this person is, um, romantic, business, whatever, you're just, you're going to be seeing something from them. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and switch over to Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, give me a spirit animal, please, for my Taurus. Okay, give me one more. Okay. All right, spirit animal for Taurus and who Taurus is dealing with. All right, so they give me water. So increased feelings, emotions, you're gonna be more sensitive. There is also something sort of new in your life or something new sparking. I'm getting a lot of tenderness for you on this. Okay, whatever this is, it's something small. Um, or it's just, if it's not literally small, it's new. But it feels like, I don't know, there's a lot of emotional energy for this. You're going to be, again, feeling more emotional, more sensitive. And the eagle. But you're also going to be, the eagle is very focused. The eagle is a hunter. So you're fixated on something. You're going to get something and you could be a little bit protective I'm getting an energy of feeling protective. Some of you, it could be jealous, but I'm getting more of this protective, like you're protecting your emotions, you're protecting this thing that you care about. There is this emotional inspiration coming from you in some sort of way, personally, creatively. You're just... really feeling it you have a, a clear vision as well or you will you're going to see something very clearly um, but i am getting that like irritation from you though you could be feeling a little bit irritable the next couple weeks the energy isn't bad but i am getting irritation so um you're dealing with the dolphin Whoever this is, they feel like they're very compassionate. Um, there's something significant about either music, song, their voice, something they say. Um, I'm getting a lot of lightness here. Like you, you like this individual, whoever it is. They're very different from you. They come from a different background. But I feel as if you have some sort of emotional motivation or focus on this person. But there's a different, you may speak a different language. Um, or one of you may speak a different language. Getting like you guys not having the same mother language, tongue. There is an emphasis or something significant and unique about their voice or something they say. You may love their... I don't know if this person can sing you you like that but there's something about their um, their form of communication style that you really like now I don't know what you're irritated about I can't maybe you don't either because I can't quite pick it up I feel the energy feels positive I don't see you fighting with this person um, okay what does this dolphin want to say to Taurus Okay, 
Okay. Well, <laughs> whatever they're going to be talking about, it seems like very business or um, not a lot of emotion. You're going to be feeling more emotion than this person. They're feeling a little pretty emotionally cold and disconnected. It feels as if they like communicate and directly here. They might be speaking mostly about things that are with a purpose, pragmatic business, um, rules, just getting them having like a kind of a serious vibe, sort of like a Libran way of communicating, regardless of if they're Libra or not. This person is going to talk to you about something that they have going on that's weighing down on them. It's Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress and burden with this person. They're very emotionally detached in this moment. And uh, yeah, they're, they're weighed down. So trying to connect with them like deeply will be hard. I feel like most of the communication that they're going to be giving is just like fairly impersonal, seems like. But because there's a lot of worry and stress, there's something going on here with this person. They may also kind of feel there's one of you might feel burdened dealing with the other person in this moment for some reason. But they have something specific going on. It could be like business or legal related, or it might have something to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, they're just expressing their stress and worry. And I don't necessarily feel like it's you because you're, 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 it's something else. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Universe, let's do the energy for my Gemini. Spirit animal for my Gemini's, please. Okay, hold on. Give me a spirit animal for the Gemini. Okay. And who is Gemini dealing with? with a couple people here. You are the koala. You are also the koala. There is something, uh, there's going to be people speaking to you about something that you said or something that you wrote. I'm getting that it was more like in written form, but whatever, how this works. But I am getting like discussion about this, like increased discussion, something related to you. Something that you have said. You know, it could be like lazy time. You could be wanting to stay inside and bundle up a little bit more, like eating more, increased appetite. I am feeling that energy for you. There could be something also about like weight. A significance about weight that you're focusing on your weight will change either lower or higher depending on like which that you want I feel as if like with the 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 energy feels nice so I feel as if it goes whatever way you want it to if you want to gain some want to lose some yeah okay so um you're dealing with the orange bellied parrot and then the B. So for some reason, um, I think that these two people are around you and they have a completely different way of doing things. And that's significant because they're around each other and they don't really flow. I don't get that there's like a lot of hate here, but I just think that they do things differently. This person's a little bit more fixed and methodical, and this individual's kind of all over the place. But this person is a little bit more likable. I'm getting like, uh, you may speak to this person more. Whoever they are, they could be kind of like a hippie or sort of 
you know, they beat to their own drum. They're really kind of off the, you know, like, the, you know, this would be the, <laughs> I do not, let's, but this would be like the more like conservative individual. This would be the more like liberally free individual. And um, I don't mean like politically either. It could be, but I, I just mean like in ways of life. So there's something going on about talks about that. And it's interesting because with the koala, his face expression is kind of like, oh boy. Oh boy. So it's something outside of you. If you have children, these these could be your children being like, this is what I want to do. There's just a lot coming at you. And I feel like you're trying to relax, chill. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's not a bad energy, but interesting. You're going to be a lot of opinions, a lot of ideas coming at you. All right. What are these? What does anyone want to say to Gemini? Oh, well, there's a lot. I feel like everybody wants to say something. <laughs> what do they want to say to Gemini? Just so you know, if there's something that you create or um, make, it's going to turn out really well. You know, like decor decoratively, I'm just feeling like you doing well in regards to this. So uh, a really good time for contests for you or anything where you're able to stand out creatively. Uh, good. Very good. Okay. So. Wow. There's a lot going on here. I do feel that there could be some, some conflicts. Yeah, lots of communication, but I think all kind of works out in the end. So five of swords, three of pentacles. There's some sort of issue in the work environment or the home environment with a friendship. I think this is outside of you, but I think the balance will increase and things will be worked out. It feels like family dynamic related there could also be a little bit of romance going on behind the scenes. You could find out that somebody's secretly dating or you might see someone kissing like at a family event or some sort of gathering again, where it's like people you are familiar with, um, and know well, I'm getting like a secret, secret kissing going on. Maybe it's you, Gemini, maybe you're secretly kissing someone, but if not, you're going to see this. Um, okay, so then, yeah, just a lot of talk, especially in regards to work uh, dynamics where things have to function, uh, like chores, duties, stuff like that. I'm just getting a lot of stuff coming in and out. Family will be a focus for you as well. Yeah, so it was kind of busy, 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 busy. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to my cancers. We are at Cancer, Cancer. Universe, connect me with the energy for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me a spirit animal for the Cancer. Oops, spirit animal for my Cancers. And spirit animal for who cancer is dealing with. <laughs> okay. Orangutan. Cancer. You might be feeling kind of entertained. Someone around you could be like silly. There's a lot of like laughter, silliness, immature energy. But I'm getting that it's like a good time. Whether or not you're young or not. I feel like, you know, someone's going to be doing something that you're like, wow, you're... So it could be around a lot of children or, again, people that are just taking on that playful sort of vibe. There's something that you're curious about as well. Now, who you're dealing with, <laughs> wood, so you got, um, and then the tree frog. Okay, the tree frog. 
It's interesting because they could, this person could be trying to keep a balance on something when you encounter them. I feel like, you know, they might be really busy or something. I'm just getting like hanging by a thread here. He's like dangling off. This person may almost have like little to go off of or like, a, I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but. I'm getting growth for you in a situation that maybe could have been, and then in regardless, I'm talking about you specifically, regardless of if I'm holding the frog, but you know, there could have been something that you thought you lost or thought you could, you know, like, I guess I can't get a handle on that or, um, but there could be growth here. It just may grow differently than what you thought. Cause I'm getting you like making a comeback. Especially in regards to like um, actual things. So money could increase, but I'm getting like money could, it possibly could be a little bit tight for a while or it could have been tight because I'm getting like a woo, I almost fell off the reel there. Some For some of you. Now, uh, for those of you that it's not money, that's some, it's something in your life that's like very valuable to you like money, you know? It's almost like you almost lost it, but... Here it comes. Okay. Could be a person, could be a thing, could be both. I think that this tree fog is going to tell you a secret that you're going to be like, what? So keep an eye out for that. What does this tree frog want to say to Cancer? They've decided that they do want this. They do want something. So they're gonna tell you they've decided what they want. Could be you, could be just telling you something that they want, but the Princess of Cups, kind of flirty, fun energy. This this all feels very lighthearted. This individual, there could be like giggling or is there something about giggling? The Magician and the Princess of Cups. What do they wanna to say to you? They could make like, um. Uh, a sweet gesture. I'm getting like action coming from them. Expression, action, two of cups, magician and two of cups. They feel like something, they feel very comfortable. They feel like something belongs a certain way. So that's why they're going to take action towards it. They, you know, they're going to be speaking to you about this. For some of you, Somebody could be telling you that they feel like working with you, being with you is very comfortable, like it kind of fits. So, you know, on regardless, this could be like something you're doing. So it doesn't have to be personal even. It's almost like, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, there's someone around you that's like, you know, I really think we do well with this together. I feel a good vibe. It's, it's you know, they want to communicate positive things. The people that are coming into you, it feels positive. It feels like good news. You know, you, you overall are going to get, you know, uh, if there's something that you were hoping for, like communication wise or just positive, little positive news, you will get some, you know, it feels pretty good. I like it, I like it. Uh, somebody also wants to make something happen with you. There's somebody here, I get like a crush energy. Yeah, they wanna make something happen. All right, so we finally made it. Here we go. Thank you guys. Um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.